landscape patches. And before we get started, though, I got to do that YouTube thing and ask you to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. So let's get started on adding one of these. Okay, so first step is open up plugins and make sure you have patches or patch enabled. Um, and it is very experimental still. Okay, so let's make this from scratch. Once we restart the engine, um, you can then add um, the new component, which is called landscape patches. Here, I'm gonna just add it as a component to a static mesh in the world. But you could add this to a blueprint so that it's automatically there. And now there's two different things. There's a landscape circle height patch and a landscape texture patch. The first thing I'm gonna add is the landscape height patch. And the first time you add one, you need to set the landscape um, to your patch. And if it's not working, you also need to make sure that your landscape has edit layers turned on. So it automatically added it to the bottom of this, but we could move where this pivot point is. If we need to adjust it on our mesh, say we add this to our, let's say rocks, and it's slightly too high or too low, we could adjust this so that every time we place a rock, it perfectly blends into it. Now let's select the instance itself, and you can see it attempted to set the width and the radius and the fall off based on the size of the mesh. And yeah, and then we can say we're not happy with the automatic radius it gives us. We can edit that using radius and fall off. And then obviously the position, position it where we want, select the instance. And now imagine you're building up a mountain area with lots of rocks next to each other. You could just do this. And then you don't have to come in here and manually do this for every single one. Or if you're building a house like we were, you can make sure that whatever land it's on is flat for the amount of space you need. Say you want it to be where every single house has an excess of this much space and then this kind of fall off. Uh, you can guarantee that using these. Now we're going to move on to the other component. So let's delete that. And then let's add a texture patch, okay? So this one works the same exact way. You need to make sure the landscape is set and whether or not it's enabled. Um, but it has a little more options, obviously. It still has all of your, like, the normal options. Um, but this one works a little bit more like the noise in landscape, where you can set min, max, or if you're blending. Uh, you can also set the size here. And as you can see, it's in a 2D space because it's going to project our texture. Um, so... Source, let's say texture asset, right? And let's just go noise. Okay, I have this little, lo the low blur noise. It works, obviously. We can change the encoding here. So if we wanted it by world units, you can see the scale of it, right? So like the default that it was giving us was just too small to see the difference. A lot better than just placing it. Um, right in the world, right? So that's just, it saves us time and iteration overall. Um, there are a couple more settings in here. Most of them are to do with um, how it's applied. And they do have different, like, snapping. But they're not really too much more than what I showed of. Um, you can change height here, right? Um, like, this is the important part. Like, this would take a while normally like see how much faster that is to just iterate uh if you like the phone if you like the video and want to see more like it uh, i'm gonna be making more on just individual features uh i like to make videos on some of the experimental features and uh the things maybe not 100 ready yet um so if you can hit that subscribe button it really does help the channel out